And this poem is called, um, This Is Your Oppression. She wears angry better than your tongue could strip her from it. Slipping unbridled from the cloth, her skin is a wardrobe. You watch her like you might an eclipse. The sudden darkening, the dropped gaze, this is your oppression to be blind. Mm. If she has baggage, you're the broken suitcase wheel. Every kick at the heel, an unkind reminder that she could move much quicker if she could just let go. But you were the one that packed these heavy bags and she's not sure what she'll need when she gets there. <clears throat> You've unhinged the mirrors from the wall, liberated her from reflections, only to be defined by whatever you can fit into quotation marks, curiously curving around profitable preconceptions, your tongue rolls out inflections, question marks. For you know a chain is nothing without its twist. I ask if you'll dance, moving because you are moved to instead of there being flowers to decorate your footsteps, but it's too odd and clumsy a thing to tussle yourself in. You stay wallflower stubborn and speak of integration like you are pointing to where they touched you on a doll. This is your oppression to look ridiculous standing still. <laughs> Not all that vain. It's tried to put something slightly uplifting at the end of it. <laughs>